Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Tomb of the Hun Warrior Workers in the middle of building a highway in Romania recently came across a tomb filled with treasure. The tomb dates to the 5th century AD, a time when a group called the Huns was busy ravaging Europe. Workers were shocked because nobody had expected to find the entrance to an ancient warrior's final resting place hidden in plain sight. There are three other archaeological sites unearthed in the same area, but the warrior's tomb was the most intriguing. The tomb, which was 1,500 years old, was filled with over 100 artifacts. Archaeologists found weapons, objects covered in gold, and pieces of jewelry inlaid with gemstones. They also found the remains of someone who must have been a very wealthy warrior, as well as his horse. Researchers described the tomb as princely, saying the warrior must have belonged to the ruling class. Yet his ethnicity is currently unknown. It's not clear if he was a Hun who arrived in Romania from Central Asia or if he was a local noble who was spared the slaughter brought by the Huns. The Huns arrived in Eastern Europe in the 4th century AD and wreaked havoc, displacing the Vandals and the Goths. The two groups were forced to migrate towards Rome, and we all know how that ended. The Huns' reign of terror only came to an end in 454, after they had spread their forces too thin and were beaten by an angry band of displaced Germanic tribes in Croatia. Number 9. Medieval Treasures Under Amsterdam Train tunnels underneath the city of Amsterdam revealed a medieval treasure trove that may have never been found if there wasn't construction work that needed to be done. The operation to complete Amsterdam's north-south metro line was huge, going on 15 years as architects and engineers burrowed beneath the foundations of European history. Archaeologists were there too, tasked with looking through the debris and mud for any kind of historical remnants. After almost two decades, the artifacts collected during the project can now be seen on display. At Roken Station, one of the stops on the new route, there is an underground archaeological museum. The museum has almost 10,000 relics stashed inside glass cases, each of which was hidden right below Amsterdam's bustling streets. Most of the artifacts on display were found around Roken Station itself. The station is located in a neighborhood near the Amstel River, not exactly downtown Amsterdam. But in the 13th century, it was the heart of Amsterdam. The city more or less developed around this area, which is why it's such a hotbed for lost relics. The river became a dumping ground over the centuries, accumulating objects thrown out by medieval people living in the city. Peter Kranendonk, one of the senior archaeologists on the project, said the mass of material unearthed was extraordinary. The team was able to excavate up to 90 feet beneath the city, finding ancient items like mollusk shells over 115,000 years old. More recent objects include things like medieval coins, scraps of clothing, games, and even pieces of armor. And now for number 8. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Victoria Lopez and Brenda DeFazio. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. Number 8. Mary's Secret Letters Mary Stuart, Queen of Scots, was imprisoned in England from 1578 to 1587. Mary was the Queen of Scotland who failed to succeed in her rebellions against the crown. And so, Queen Elizabeth I, her own cousin, had her locked in Lochleben Castle and then executed. Recently, cryptographer George Lassery and his colleagues discovered 57 letters hidden in the digital archive of France's National Library. These letters were written by Mary Stuart during her imprisonment, but had somehow been mislabeled when added to the system. The letters were also written in code, and so they have never been deciphered. Here were almost 60 letters written by one of Scotland's most beloved historical figures hiding in plain sight in a digital archive. The cryptographers immediately got to work cracking the codes. The letters were from Mary Stuart, addressed to Michel de Castelnau Malvisier, French ambassador to England. They appear to be part of a secret correspondence, about 150,000 words, in which Mary desperately tried to maintain a confidential channel with outside allies. 
she was imprisoned by her own cousin, facing charges of treason, and was trying to maneuver a way out of the situation. She even talked to the ambassador about trying to arrange marriages that would cause her to be set free. But in the end, no amount of conspiring saved Mary, and she was sentenced to death. Number 7. Patrick Sarsfield, Irish War Hero Patrick Sarsfield was an Irish war hero. He is most famous today for helping in the defense of Limerick in 1690 following the epic Battle of the Boyne and the defeat of King James II. Alas, Patrick's forces only held out for so long. They were defeated by the English in 1691, but Patrick still managed to negotiate the Treaty of Limerick. This allowed Patrick and his 15,000 soldiers to leave Ireland and seek sanctuary in France. The group became known as the Wild Geese and served in European armies after being forced to flee their native land of Ireland. Patrick would be killed two years later while fighting for French King Louis XIV on July 29, 1693. If he couldn't fight for Ireland, Patrick figured he could at least fight against the English on behalf of the French. After Patrick was killed, he was buried in an unknown location. It was believed that he was put in the ground somewhere near St. Martin's Church in the town of Huy, which is now in Belgium. But his exact burial location remained unknown until very recently. A total of 24 bodies were discovered on the grounds of the church in the 18th century. Since then, most of the bodies have been identified. Ten of them were officers, and only two have remained anonymous. Even though nobody knew where Patrick was buried, most experts were pretty certain one of the bodies found on the church's grounds belonged to him. It was only now that researchers were able to trace Patrick's family lineage to get proof by DNA analysis. The tests are still waiting to be confirmed, but it does look like his body has finally been found, and right where it was supposed to be. If the DNA tests come back positive, Patrick's body will likely be shipped over to Ireland for a proper burial. Number 6. The Laws of Friction According to researchers from the University of Cambridge, Leonardo da Vinci was the one who first came up with the Laws of Friction. Although scientist Guillaume Amontons is the man recognized today for first publishing his ideas on the laws of friction in 1699, Leonardo did it first 200 years earlier. But in the 1920s, when the director of the Victoria and Albert Museum was looking through Leonardo's notebooks, he missed some very important scribbles. There were what he described as irrelevant notes and diagrams drawn in red chalk. These supposedly irrelevant notes were ignored, and the original theory on the laws of friction went unnoticed. One of the most important scientific discoveries was hidden in plain sight all these years in Leonardo's notebook. Scientists from the University of Cambridge identified the supposedly unimportant notes as being from a friction experiment. The sketches and texts clearly show that Leonardo da Vinci understood the laws of friction in 1493. That means the French scientist was 200 years late to the party, and Leonardo should technically be credited as the man who first delved into the problem of friction. Number 5. Ancient Auckland Castle Archaeologists in England recently uncovered the shattered remains of an ancient tower dating back to the 1300s. It was found at Auckland Castle in Durham and appears to have been the residence of a medieval bishop. The discovery was made with help from the team at Durham University's Department of Archaeology. They found the steps leading to the tower, its stone foundations, and the preserved walls of a cellar. However, the rest of the structure has been gone for centuries. All we have are the bottom parts that were buried beneath the ground, hiding in plain sight. Right along the path where people walk through the complex, the remains of the ancient tower were hiding under less than a foot of soil. Auckland Castle itself was the original seat of the Prince Bishops of Durham starting about a thousand years ago. The Prince Bishops of Durham were the most powerful people in Britain next to the English monarchy. They had massive authority and political influence, reaching all throughout England and to the borderlands of Scotland. Auckland Castle was where they conducted a huge amount of their business. These were religious men with so much power and money they had their own armies and minted their own coins. It comes as no surprise that on the grounds of this great complex was a hidden tower belonging to one of the powerful bishops. Number 4. Lost Roman Jewels 
2,000 years ago, wealthy men wore their precious rings when they visited a Roman bathhouse in England. These rings were embedded with extraordinarily expensive stones. Because of the extreme heat and steam at the baths, the glue keeping the stones inside the rings weakened and the stones fell out. They then got lost inside the pools and baths, never to be recovered by their owners again. It wasn't until now that archaeologists found these mysterious Roman stones hiding in plain sight near Hadrian's Wall. The gems are called intaglios, and they were of the highest quality. Each stone was extremely tiny, like the diamond on a small wedding ring, and yet each one was carved with a beautiful image. These date back to around the 2nd century AD and included all kinds of precious stones. Some of them were amethyst, others were jasper. One stone depicts the goddess Venus holding a flower, and another depicts a satyr sitting on a rock. The intaglios were wildly valuable gems during their time, and they all got flushed into the drains of pools and saunas. Expert Frank Gieco says these stones were set inside their rings with vegetable glue, which didn't work so well in this sweaty bathhouse. As for how these stones were discovered, it was thanks to archaeologists looking through the remains of a bathhouse near Hadrian's Wall. So many centuries have left the bathhouse in ruins, with all those lost treasures now easy to pick out of the dust and debris. The team had no trouble finding over 30 stunning gems, along with 40 women's hairpins that had also likely gotten lost at the bathhouse. Researchers even found a collection of animal bones, dozens of glass beads, and other evidence of Roman elites visiting the bathhouse. Number 3. A Buried Synagogue In the ancient Spanish city of Utrera, archaeologists uncovered a synagogue from over 600 years ago. The 14th century structure somehow survived the tumultuous years after the Jews of Spain were exiled in 1492. This was one of the darkest hours for Jewish people in Europe in the medieval days, when they faced the same violent persecution they had already been dealing with for the last 2,000 years. The Jews were banned from being in Spain, prompting a mass migration of Jewish citizens east. After 1492, most traces of Jewish history were destroyed. There were only four surviving synagogues in Spain from that time period. This particular synagogue was found buried underneath the remains of a modern disco pub. It looks like for seven centuries, the synagogue was repurposed a lot. It was used as a church, later as a hospital, then as a residential house, and later as an orphanage. In more modern times, it was developed as a restaurant, then hidden away underneath the floor of a disco pub. Archaeologists have identified a prayer hall, benches, and a small chamber where important scripture scrolls were once kept. This synagogue has seen a lot. Number 2. The Banaue Rice Terraces The Banaue Rice Terraces can be found high up in the remote mountains in Luzon in the Philippines. At first glance, it just looks like any other group of rice terraces found throughout Southeast Asia. But this is an exceptional archaeological site hiding in plain view. The Banaue Rice Terraces are special because they were created over 2,000 years ago by the indigenous Ifugao people. The rice terraces are spread throughout several villages and came to be designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1995. The area where the rice terraces are is extremely remote, over 220 miles from Manila. The terraces were structured around the 1st century AD by primitive humans using nothing but basic stone tools. Yet despite having little access to technology, the Ifugao engineered an impressive network of rice terraces supported by an irrigation system. They are still used to this very day, looking like steps for giants leading up the mountainsides. The vast network covers about 4,000 square miles, with a total length of almost 13,000 miles. That's nearly half the circumference of the Earth. Number 1. The Roman Highway A road that was built by the Romans nearly 2,000 years ago was recently found by some workmen digging in a field. The road was hiding in plain sight underneath just a few inches of dirt. Imagine the surprise when workmen in Britain, yes, in Britain of all places, found a perfectly preserved cobbled path underneath a boring field. The road has been there for at least 1,900 years, a genuine Roman structure from the time when Britain was occupied by the empire. 
The road was found in Worcestershire, and so far as we know, is the only one of its kind ever found in Britain. That makes it extremely rare, and something that needs to be preserved for future generations. The road is a single path, seemingly leading to nowhere. Researchers also identified ruts in the stones that show it was used for a very long time. Those ruts were left behind by real Roman carts bringing goods between settlements. Even more exciting is that the road was found near where a Roman villa was discovered several years ago, suggesting the two are probably connected. Thanks for watching! Which of these discoveries surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon! Bye!